Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The CEO of Dutch company ASML is currently facing some difficulties. Previously, to comply with US demands and cut off the supply of EUV lithography machines to China, the CEO boasted that even if they released the blueprints, China wouldn't be able to manufacture them. What happened next? In just a few years, the situation has completely changed. In a recent interview, he frankly stated that the US and the West need to find a balance in their technology restrictions on China. This sounds diplomatic, but anyone with a discerning ear can understand the underlying message. They want to continue making money from China while simultaneously keeping China's technology in a backward position. This ambiguous statement reflects the real dilemma faced by this lithography machine giant, perhaps they regret their earlier actions. As the world's only company capable of manufacturing EUV lithography machines, ASML should be the most prominent player in the semiconductor industry. However, in reality, it is awkwardly caught between the US and China, facing a difficult situation. The US technology blockade, which began during the Trump administration and continued with Biden's small yard, high fence policy, is essentially about rallying allies to block China's access to advanced semiconductor technology. EUV lithography machines are naturally a key target. ASML has had to comply with US sanctions, only able to sell relatively outdated DUV lithography machines to China. Ironically, even so, China remains ASML's largest customer. In 2024, the Chinese market contributed approximately $9 billion in sales, and even with a projected decline in 2025, it will still remain around $7 billion. This figure reflects China's enormous demand for chip manufacturing and represents a market that ASML cannot afford to lose. The changing attitudes of ASML executives over the years are a microcosm of the recent history of the US-China technology rivalry. In 2019, then-CEO Peter Wenink confidently stated that EUV lithography machines integrated top technologies from multiple countries, and that China cannot do it. This statement carried a sense of technological superiority, and also served as a deterrent. However, as time went on, his tone gradually changed. In 2021, he began to warn the US that blockades will only accelerate China's independent research and development. In 2023, he frankly admitted that China will eventually be able to produce equipment comparable to ASML's. Over four years, his stance shifted five times, from dismissiveness to acknowledgement, and then to anxiety. The changing attitude of this veteran CEO perfectly mirrors China's technological progress. The new CEO, Christophe Fouquet, who took office at the end of 2024, publicly stated that Chinese technology lags behind by 10 to 15 years, yet his actions revealed a genuine concern about the shrinking Chinese market. At a financial results meeting, he predicted that Chinese demand for ASML equipment would decline significantly by 2026 due to domestic substitution. This shows that the plan to choke China's access to lithography machines has failed, who would willingly cut off their own source of revenue. ASML is not alone in facing this dilemma. The three major US semiconductor equipment companies, Applied Materials, KLA, and LAM Research, as well as Japan's Tokyo Electron, all face the same predicament. The Chinese market accounts for 30% to 47% of their revenue, losing this market means massive profit losses, which in turn affects R&D investment. The vicious cycle. 
China is accelerating independent R&D and domestic substitution, which is what worries the US and Japan the most. Data shows that in the first quarter of 2025, compared to the same period of the previous year, the profits of Chinese semiconductor equipment manufacturers increased significantly, while the profits of most foreign equipment manufacturers declined with the exception of ASML and LAM research. More importantly, the overall Chinese semiconductor equipment market is still growing rapidly, meaning that domestic substitution is accelerating. Industry sources indicate that domestically produced immersion DUV lithography machines are already being tested on production lines, and mass production is only a matter of time. Although there is still a gap compared to the most advanced EUV technology, China is gradually regaining control in the mature process field. It's worth noting that the balance point emphasized by the ASML CEO is essentially a contradictory mindset, wanting to have both, but such a perfect scenario doesn't exist. They want to maintain their technological advantage while not losing the Chinese market. This idea also exposes the ambitions of European and American companies and reveals a cruel industry truth. Technological blockade is a double-edged sword, restricting opponents while potentially harming oneself. The moment the US-China chip war began, China clearly defined its goal of semiconductor self-reliance. China's progress in the field of lithography machines is not an overnight miracle but the result of continuous investment and long-term accumulation. This game of competition continues. ASML's anxiety may be just the beginning. As foreign media have reported, it's too late for ASML to regret its actions, China will not stop. ASML went from claiming China can't produce EUV to acknowledging independent breakthroughs in just four years. Now, despite the Chinese market contributing $9 billion in revenue, it faces the impact of domestic substitution. American and Japanese semiconductor giants rely on China for 30% to 47% of their revenue, and the technology blockade has instead boosted the profits of Chinese equipment manufacturers, with immersion DUV mass production imminent. The CEO's balancing act reveals the West's dilemma, wanting to restrict China's technological development while fearing the loss of market share, a double-edged sword that ultimately harms itself.